The nanotechnology revolution is in full swing and beginning to achieve its promise to advance our world beyond our ability to imagine its full potential. From electronics to ceramics, from chemical sensors to cosmetics, fabrication at the nanoscale is literally reshaping the world around us. And in doing so, it's creating a whole new class of manufacturing jobs in America. Dr. Ahmed Basnana, the W.L. Smith Professor of Engineering at Northeastern University, is at the forefront of one kind of nanomanufacturing process that builds complex nanoscale materials using the venerable time-worn process of printing. But the innovative nanoscale offset printing device that Busnana's team has developed during years of support from the National Science Foundation is nothing like the printer on your desk. Busnana's nano ops can print structures a thousand times smaller and a thousand times faster than any inkjet printer. And with the cost of today's electronics fabrication facilities typically reaching tens of billions of dollars, the dramatically lower price tag on nanoops makes the potential of someday using printers to produce complex commercial electronics like microprocessors a challenge worth accepting. The, the nano OPS system developed here um, is a great example of nano manufacturing platform technology that can, not, can be used in many applications from electronics to medicine. Um, so I think in the, the last 10 years, what this center has accomplished, it, it uh, exemplifies NSF's uh, supported basic research. On September 17, 2014, Basnana unveiled NanoOps to a packed audience at the George J. Costas Nanoscale Technology and Manufacturing Center of Northeastern's Burlington campus. So what exactly is the Nano Offset Printing System? NanoOps is an automated cluster of tools designed for the stepwise assembly of nanoscale building blocks, such as nanotubes and nanoparticles, into functional materials. The process begins with the preparation of a template using electron beam and photolithography. Once prepared, the template is then moved into a liquid solution in which charged nanoparticles are guided into grooves and spots on the template, called vias, through an applied electric field. The template is then lifted out and pressed onto a target surface, just as printing plates are usually employed to transfer an image to a surface. The, uh, the process that we have, the NanoOps process, uh, works uh, at, like the old-fashioned printing, using templates. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, however, uh, it, it is capable of doing uh, printing nanoscale structure that are not possible using any template that is used in use today. These are the templates that we fabricated for the tool. So, um, depending on the application, the structure that we assemble can change. So, for example, this is the template that we fabricated for by the sensor. With increased speed and resolution, NanoOps will pioneer numerous applications, including advances in flexible electronics, chemical and biological sensing, energy harvesting, and photonics and lighting materials such as LEDs. Its development is the direct result of converging disciplines, turning fundamental research into applied research manufacturing. If we are taking the research from the fundamental aspect to the applied aspect to the product, we are bringing back manufacturing to the United States. We, we make these systems now with today's technology um, and it's with today's cost and size and weight, right? So this nano project, this nanotechnology field, um, is of great interest to us. Consider the benefits to this country and to the world in supporting the research effort at this university because they are prepared to serve as a model for other universities to imitate Northeastern in our effort to provide adequate research for the American public. The work of Bisnana and Northeastern University's Center for High-Rate Nanomanufacturing is leading the way in pursuing innovative answers to the wide-ranging challenges of nanomanufacturing. Later, uh, we finally have a new tool that was based on our uh, technology developed with uh, you know, the NSF uh, NSEC. You don't have to go anywhere to make the chips. You can make everything here without needing $10, million, $10 billion to build your own facility. Uh, you really have to make a way to, for companies to use the technology in order to benefit society. 
These innovative tools and processes will make it possible for businesses to quickly and efficiently manufacture products using nanoscale printing techniques. With the market for printed electronics projected to go from 50 billion today to 250 billion in 10 years, it's small wonder that more than 75 patents have already been filed in the past 10 years in connection with the NanoOps project. This technology is at the forefront of a new revolution that's bringing the social and financial benefits of nanotechnology to the U.S. and the world. For WTech News, this is Dave Gardy reporting.